Hello, 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 and happy Wednesday to all of my amazing Aquarius. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with a very special reading on today. Aquarius, yes, 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 yes. Guess what? The moon is at 97% illuminated, so guess what that means? There's going to be a lot of people's moon signs who are going to be on full display. And if you don't stay rooted and grounded in you being a uh, smart Aquarius, it could really affect you. Not only a smart but knowledgeable Aquarius, a open-minded Aquarius, a humanitarian, a very creative, free-spirited, intellectual, progressive, original, independent, unique, friendly, very powerful Aquarius. It could affect you too. It could affect everybody, right? So go check out and see what your moon sign is and go watch that video in addition to this one. You know by now this is a general reading, so please only take what resonates with you. If you're interested in a, in a personal reading, please contact me below. My information is below, as well as you all know that I have a new information channel out so i haven't put any content there so it'll be more in-depth information about numbers planets all of that on that channel so go check that out that information is below too yes and i want to say thank you to all of the very 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 kind words text messages emails have just been just like flooding my my DMs on Instagram, you all have been putting some very kind comments below, been sending me very kind text messages Aquarius. Thank you. I just want to say thank you, right? It just really, really warms my heart how kind and sweet you all are. So let's get right into your reading. Let's get right into your reading. Most High God in the Universe, please give me a special reading for my amazing Aquarius. As it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions and spirituality and where my Aquarius need to take action. All right, Aquarius, let's get into your reading. Again, this is a general reading, so only take what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below. By the way, you all know that Aquarius created, built my website, right? Their information is down below. Their company's information is down below. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Just in case you all are interested in getting your website um, built, her information is down below. Her and her, her company's business, I mean, uh, information is down below. So thank you to her. Yes, yes, yes. All right. There's so many wonderful things I could say about Aquarius, but I want to get right into your general reading. So I think you all know my heart towards you all. You all are the I know sign. You all are sprinkling your information all over the world. And so don't stop being that because people's nasty behaviors and ignorance, right? Um, could be, you know, center stage. I'm telling you, it's a lot going on. That's why <laughs> it's a, just a lot going on. So we have three of wands. This is nice. See this person's foot right here firmly planted and then they have a foot up. Yep. Uh-huh. We also have the five of pentacles. We also have the king of cups. We also have the three of swords. <clears throat> Nice. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. We also have the high priestess. So somebody has been really having a lot of very vivid dreams, right? That could cause you to be emotional. And this is what I want you to say. Okay. And then we have the three of pentacles, right? So listen, so somebody is having some very vivid dreams that could cause you to be very, very emotional. You all are, somebody could have cancer in their chart. And so what the moon does when the moon is fully, um, illuminate it for you all it could it could be from one extreme to the other so if your moon if you're let's say for instance your moon sign is a cancer I'm just going to use this as an example because this high priestess is attached to the moon and cancer is cancer's ruling planet is the moon and we know the moon is not a planet for those of you who always send me a message the moon isn't a planet <laughs> i know that it's a big rock it's actually a luminary but but anyway so the upside of like having all these downloads and these dreams and these visions for you all, it causes you to be quite imaginative, which is great. You know, sympathetic, very protective, very tenacious, very loyal, right? This is at a high frequency because remember, you all are open-minded. You all are humanitarians, creative, free-spirited, intellectual, friendly, unique, independent, progressive, very powerful, the smartest sign in the zodiac, right? But on the low end, if you got a lot of other energies around you and, there, and, and because of the full moon energy is causing them to act crazy and out of whack or whatever, it can actually contaminate you and cause you to be more possessive. It can cause you to be more moody. It can cause you to be critical. I mean, like really harsh. And when, when Aquarius says things, I mean, you know, Aquarius, you all can go for the jugular. And sometimes that may seem like it's funny to you all that he can go to the jugular, but it can really hurt a person. Think if a person is, right, severely depressed 
Or think about a person who, who doesn't know how to protect their energy and going straight in for the jugular, you know, during that time where their emotions are high, your emotions are high, that just doesn't make for a good mix, right? Some people know how to protect their energy and just go ahead and block it out. And some people, you know, they may be thinking about the S word. Some people may be thinking about the H word. So we got to be very, very, so because remember, you all are humanitarians. And remember, this is why you always got to stand in your identity, Aquarius, because when you could be having those downloads and dreams, it can cause you to be critical. It can cause you to be uh, self-pitying. It can cause you also, almost to be a nag to some degree. That's if, again, let's say your moon sign is a cancer. Go and watch the video for your moon sign, not just your sun sign, because this, this is for your sun, moon, rising, Venus. But again, watch it in those those placements, right? We have Mercury, that's retrograde right now. We have Venus, I'm sorry, not Venus. Yes, Venus is retrograde, Mercury, Venus, and Uranus. So Uranus is one of your ruling planets. So this is about change. What is it that you're ready to change within yourself? What is it? You got to ask yourself, what, I, what have I been praying for? What have I been meditating on? What have I been asking for, right? So you're not going to deal with ignorant people, people who are lack, who lack knowledge or who lack awareness, just in general, people who are unsophisticated, people who will just really, really want to test you to see if you're going to just go off on them, go from zero to a thousand. Not when you have an option to block them, not when you have an option to walk away, not when you have an option of just simply creating a very firm boundary like listen i'm not sure what's going on in your life right now but that right there was inappropriate it was unprofessional and it's not going to be tolerated right you can even say that to them just to let them know put them on full notice that's not going to be tolerated and then shut it down and walk away but you do not have to vibrate low right so i see a lot of you all because what's going to happen if you do vibrate low guess what it's going to mess up it's going to mess with your money it's going to mess with your happiness see a lot of people people put put people put priority over things that they want. So somebody could look at this vault and assume that there's only money behind this vault, right? But for some people, time is most important. For some people, their joy and peace and happiness is most important. So whatever is of that kind of value for you is behind this vault. Are you going to let somebody come in because the full the moon is almost fully illuminated and steal your joy, mess up your money, steal your peace, disrupt your day, throw you out of balance? The answer is no. Some people for a minute, this is how you used to be, right? This number five right here is, represents a pivotal point in your life. This is how you used to be. So I hope this clicks in somebody's spirit today that, hey, if somebody around you is acting crazy, if you already know who you are, this is your identity, this is your sun sign, right? You're open-minded, you're a humanitarian, you're creative, you're free-spirited, highly intellectual, you're friendly, independent, progressive friend. So you don't have to be impulsive. You don't have to be unpredictable, inconsistent, and extremist, or even stubborn, right? You can can spread knowledge right again that knowledge already knows and, and, and coupled with that intuitiveness that you have and you already know hey I'm the I know sign you say you know what let me walk away from the situation let me block their number let me put them in let, let me correct them right now and let them know what they're doing is inappropriate because I'm not blocking my peace and happiness I already set my intentions when I woke up that today is a great day right yes so you're going to continue making it a great day and look at this I'm seeing um, somebody having perfect synergy when it comes to their money. So I see things at work getting better for you because you're not allowing your, your emotions, that dream that you may have had last night or the last couple of nights, of the, you know, because again, it's going to be, the moon is going to be at like 96%, maybe tomorrow. I know it's nighttime some places. So again, don't let those dreams cause you to have a bad day. Don't let those visions to cause you to have a bad day. Don't let other energies around you to cause you, Aquarius, to have a bad day. I see some of you all like really, really on fire, expecting great things to happen, right? You got one foot firmly planted in the ground, so you're getting recharged from the ground, but you also have one foot up, like about to, like taking a leap of faith. That's what I'm seeing for you all, Aquarius. So I'm seeing perfect synergy. So move those emotions to the side. A lot of emotions are high. Sit down somewhere and meditate. This is what I'm seeing for you all. Accessing that crown chakra, seeing things from a, a, a high, um, from, from, a God level of clarity saying, was it my emotions, the depth of my emotions in the past that caused me to overthink some things that caused me to come off and see moody one minute I was nice, the next minute I was kind of clammed up. Like, what was it that, right? So yeah, 
I see a lot of you all getting to the heart of your um, heart of your heartbreak, right? So some of you all, like when I look at this card right here and I'm seeing like this is number three, it lets me know that some of you all are drawing some of the things from your past, from some people from your past that really broke your heart. It could have been your mom, it could have been your dad, it could have been both of your parents, it could have been siblings, but this started like a long time ago where somebody's heart was really, really broken. And so somebody, somebody may have had a dream even as recent as last night. You know, thinking about somebody that they really, really love, but every single time you entrusted that person, you, you get your heart broken over and over and over. And I'm not talking about a lover either. I'm not talking about a recent relationship where your heart was broken. I'm talking about when your heart was first broken, that very first. And every time you allow that person to come back into your space because you were like, I'm going to be the bigger person. I see what their problem is. I only got one this. I only got one that. So I'm going to be kind and gentle to them. Your heart was broken too. Your heart was broken in pieces again. So do not let that Aquarius ruin your day. Just stay focused, right? Stay focused because that right there sets you on a, you know, because remember the, the heart chakra is connected to the element of air. That sets you on this thing of allowing people to stay too long in your life, allowing people to just dump all over you and you say, well, you know, I'm going to be the bigger person because it seems like they're really hurting and I know how that hurt feels. Don't even talk yourself into that. Set clear boundaries so you can go about continuing to have a great day so you're not sitting somewhere posted up in front of your wealth of health, your wealth of joy, your wealth of peace, your wealth of knowledge, your wealth of money, your wealth of whatever wealth means to you. So it can flow, so it can be in perfect symmetry. Yes, so it can flow through your life, right? Yes. Money is not the most important thing for a lot of people because money is just a form of energy. Joy could be the most important thing for people. Time could be most important for people. Whatever it is that sits behind that vault for you, that's what you're protecting. You've already set your intentions, Aquarius, right? You've already set your intentions. Yes. Some people, let me tell you something. Some of the things, oh my gosh, this is good. Oh my gosh. Okay. <clears throat> all right. Okay. You want to tap into your strength. Some of you all have Leo in your chart. Somebody is going through a tower moment. Somebody's face could have been full frontal, like to a point where you just wanted to just, like I said, it could have been heartbroken for you. That person is going through a really, really rough time right now. And while we're not selling, nobody should be celebrating anybody's downfall. I'm just going to say that right now. Like nobody should be, nothing is funny about somebody's downfall. Even when you all hear me laugh on my channel, it's more or less like a woohoo, Aquarius has passed the test or whatever sign I'm talking about. Oh, they passed the test. They gotten away from somebody. They protected from somebody else's karma, right? Somebody is, somebody is, um, somebody that really broke your heart is going through some really, really rough time. And I'm talking about somebody that broke your heart from the start, is going through a really, really rough time. And you all are divinely protected. And so your dreams may be so vivid right now. This is why you gotta stay strong and stay focused, Aquarius, and protect that. You may even feel like, I need to call, I need to reach out to that person, I need to call that person and check on them or whatever. Aquarius, that's entirely up to you. I, I'm just, my personal opinion, is again you're already divinely protected from it that person needs to know this part is not my, my this part is not my opinion i'm gonna i'm a this part right here is not my opinion this is the tower card they are going through a really rough time right now and it is very very heartbreaking for them that they're going through basically how they broke your heart it is like hitting them like a ton of bricks just how valuable you were in their lives and again this could have happened from your childhood there are some people who like lovers and stuff that broke your heart that's going through it as well but it's nothing like the pain that that person who first broke your heart they're really really going through it like for them it literally feels like they're dying that's how it feels like but it's actually they are going through a rebirth to you you may have called them a serpent or a snake right like this book right here says serpent power or snake but snakes are not always bad snakes for them they, they they're going through a rebirth process and recognizing wow you know what aquarius really was the most loyal person that i've ever met Aquarius was always right there. They never saw me, they never treated me like competition. They were always like on my team, like they were like rah rah rah, like victory, V I C T O R Y for that person, right? Like really just not hoarding information. They were just always just right there, team, whoever that person were that you were. They they were just like 
for 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 them you represented what love really looks like at the time they didn't see it but they're seeing a lot of things in you that you were always right there for them you if they needed you for anything aquarius and excuse me in advance if i'm just kind of you know extending this but this is what i'm seeing in the spirit aquarius so again you got to be strong because whoever it was the very first person that broke your heart in your family they are really going through a rough time right now and again you want to just send good vibrations their way my opinion is not to reach out to them, okay? Because again, you are divinely protected from their karma. They have to go through what they're going through right now so that they'll come out on the other side of all of this. And for them, they feel like they're shedding a skin, like a death rebirth. Like that's why, you know, the serpent, the serpent is not always bad. Sometimes they come into your life to bite you, to get you to just focus only on you and God, like really listening to God. And that's what's coming through right now. Like lightning information is coming through. Like the number seven is coming through like lightning intuition, right? And so I got, I need you to understand that this energy is gone, right? This snake, see the snake energy right here? So there's no reason, there's no need for you all to second guess your intuition. What you, what you saw in a dream, like that person, you know, like you may have heard this person is dying in your dream. What it really means is that they're going through a death rebirth. And that thing is powerful for them. And I'm talking about like they may feel like just their whole world is just crumbling down and coming to an end. And boy, wouldn't it be nice to have that Aquarius around that I broke their heart. Wouldn't it be nice to have them around? But for you all, you all are saying some of you all, some of you all may actually go and call and that kind of thing. But you're, st and you're still divinely protected. But for some of you all, you'll are like, no, they're going to have to go through it. It's like really watching somebody you love go through like a, um, and, and this could be a trigger warning for somebody. It's like watching um, somebody that you love go through like a detox. They've been on some kind of a substance or some, abusing some kind of substance for so long and just watching them go through detox. It breaks your heart, but you know that on the other side of this, they're going to be grateful. They may be cussing you out. They may be mad at you. They may be, you know, saying all kinds of horrible things to you and about you, but you realize the love that you have for them never wavered and never died. It's just that you're not going to get down in this rubble with them. You're not going to you're not going to throw yourself into their their karma not this time. You're saying they do, they're going to have to go through a rebirth to recognize when they look up and they come out of that thing, guess what? They're going to look at you as being the measuring stick for what a friend really, really looks like. You were never jealous of them. You never saw them as competition. You never you never did anything really to hurt them except for, the, in their mind, initially, they're like, okay, they cut me off. Okay, I'm never talking to Aquarius again. Okay, hey, okay. Like, I love you enough to say, okay, right? So, but that energy has slithered away because they need to, so you don't need to second guess your, your intuition, Aquarius, okay? Again, I apologize for the lengthy um, description of what's going on because I see things like, like bold and color when I'm reading, right? Here we have the, um, here we have the page of wands. I see a lot of you all feeling like a weight has been lifted because you know that they're going through their rebirth. You know they're going through their rebirth. And for you, all this journey that you've been on, Aquarius, has caused you to come out stronger like the Queen of Swords, like somebody who is putting their emotions to the side. You're not going to be extra moody. You're not going to be self-pitying. You're not going to be overly critical of people. You're not going to be possessive of anybody. If somebody wants to leave, you're letting them leave. If they want to stay, you're still reevaluating that relationship, right? You are more imaginative. You're more sympathetic. You're more protective. You're more tenacious. You're very, very loyal. Those are things that you know that you have to offer right on top of that you're smart you're the smartest sign in the, zo the zodiac so you know what you have to offer so you're now starting to vet every single spirit that comes your way but look at this rebirth like somebody had to when you really think about it going through your mind you're like wow that person is going through that rebirth like I went through a rebirth many years ago before I even knew what a death rebirth meant, before I even knew what, you know, shedding skin and moving on into this, this you know, many, many times. That's what they're going through. And so, like I said, you can, if you want to have a conversation with them, you can have a telepathic conversation. We have king and queen of um, cups here. You can have a telepathic conversation with them through, you know, meditation and just let them know that it's going to be okay. Like they can hear your voice um, telepathically that everything is going to be okay. But would I advise you talk, calling them? Mm -mm. Nope. There's too much emotion here. 
there's too much emotion. And remember, we're still in full moon. They could they could end up cussing you out, going off. There's self a pity party towards you. I mean, just acting like. I mean, it, it could be it could be like a scorpion sting for real. Like their energy could be like a scorpion sting. They could be, you know, very resentful of you. I mean, just very possessed. Their energy could just be horrible towards you. So that's why I'm saying don't put don't throw yourself in the line of fire at all, Aquarius. Just keep on moving. Just keep on moving and let it let it happen, right? Yep. They could be just very vain and just very narcissistic towards you because they're going through a death rebirth. So in mourning, people act all kinds of way when they're in mourning. They do. A new romantic cycle begins. Very nice. Very, very nice. I love this for you all. So somebody could meet a Libra or somebody who has Libra in their chart. Yes, but a new romantic cycle begins for somebody. Yes, a new romantic cycle begins for somebody. So kudos to you, Aquarius, right? Continue building your strength, right? You're giving birth to all the things that you've been saying that you wanted, Aquarius. So continue building your strength, like this strength card right here that somebody has Leo in their chart. But I'm telling you, whoever's face you may have seen in a dream recently, they are really going through it. And, most, and, and what I'm seeing is that it's somebody who first broke your heart, right? So other people, um, and so you're so divinely protected because you're so vulnerable right now, Aquarius, that you may be thinking, oh, X, they're going through, they're going through Hades right now. They may be going through something, but we're specifically, we're talking about the first person who broke your heart from childhood. They are the ones that's really going through it. They're going through a death rebirth. And guess whose face they see where they're going through it? Your face. They see all the stuff that they did. So they're going to be, it's going to be in their face, all the horrible stuff that they did to you as a child, all the horrible things they wished on you. They didn't protect you. All kinds of stuff is happening with them right now. That's why I said it would be in your best interest not to call them because that rebirth for them is very, very painful. It's like a scorpion sting. And they like a person. Have y'all ever seen? And, and I'm going to shut this down. Have y'all ever seen a person who was just drowning? They, their life was saved. But in that process, it's horrifying for them, right? Horrifying. Because they, they see their life flash before their eyes. Like all kinds of things flash. You don't know what they're thinking about. And then somebody comes and saves them, right? That's somebody that's going to save them. It's going to be the, the God in them. So you're going to have to let it happen. All right? That's what I have for you, Aquarius. I'll see you in a couple of days. Again, keep shining. Bye.